All right, so this is how I do my sample breakdown videos in Premiere Pro. Sometimes I sample music to make other music, and these videos just give like a deep dive into how exactly I sample that particular record. So let's jump into it. So first thing I do is screen record the audio that I sample. And every computer is different, so I'm not gonna go over that process, but I basically screen record it. On Mac, it's Command-Shift-5, and you can kinda Right, I went into my DAW and screen recorded uh, what I sampled. But the only problem is when you drag in this like, the dimensions are messed up. I want mine to be full screen. So what you can do is go into sequence settings, just change it up, do 1920 by 1080. It's like standard YouTube, hit okay. And now you're good. All right, so everything's zoomed in now. We wanna kinda zoom this out so we can see, All right? And put it right about right there. So I don't want that blue in there. So we need to take care of that. So we're going to go over to wherever your effects is. Type in ultra key. Drag that on there. Go over here to the pin drop. Click that. And then click that blue. And that gets rid of it so we have like a nice clean file. So in order to signify that Wherever I sample, I need some sort of like color, right? So you can go over to the Lumetri color wheel. And for this video, I'm gonna do green. And so that's cool. But I don't want it to be green the whole time, right? I want it to kind of flow, like so you can see exactly what I sampled. All right, so I'm gonna change that back. Command Z, undo. So we need to find a way to basically make a green layer kind of appear. So the best way I do this is by making a copy of this original file by holding option, dragging it up, or however you copy files. All right, and then we're gonna make this top one. We're only gonna change the color of the, the top video. So I'm gonna change that to green. So as you see, when I turn that video off, the bottom one's still white. So now we need to make it kind of flow. So what I do, you zoom in from wherever you start. Like I don't need the rest of that before it. You can keep it, but it's not needed. So I go here, and now we need to crop. So we go to the effects and press crop. Drag that on here. All right, so we can zoom in to our file. Right, I don't need that stuff on the left, I need it to start about, let's say right there. You can kind of really get detailed if you want to type it in. That's good. All right, so now we need it to flow, right? So again, we can crop the right part all the way until we get to the beginning. So I need to drag this kind of to where it starts. And I want to get it really precise, right? So it really looks like it's flowing. So 97.3. All right, so now once I have that, right? So now I can press this over here to keyframe it or whatever it's called. And then I want it to stop at where I stop sampling, so. So I'm gonna say about right there and we're gonna zoom in. Right there. And then bring, drag this right back. And that's, that's about good to me. So now when we play the video, we should have a smooth animation. So that looks nice. All right, we can drag off the rest of this by pressing C on a Mac. Probably the same windows, I don't know. V to go back to your pointer. C is just this cut, this razor tool. Pointer, selection tool, go back to V. Delete that. And I kind of want it to fade out. So I'm gonna put a cross fade on here under effects, cross. I like constant power. And we're kind of gonna fade it out like 
Let's see. Right there. All right, so now what I want to do is kind of animate this up. So I want to like make it go up. So what I'm going to do, let's make a copy of this so we have this, put it over here. And we're going to nest these together so it's just one animation. So select these two, right click, and then scroll down to nest. Click OK. So now we got a nested sequence. So I said right here is where I want to move it. So same thing, to make little animations in Premiere, I want to play with the position. So I'm going to keyframe it right there. And I say about right there, right there. It should be uh, like right here. So now when we play that, cool. And that's a little too slow for me. So sometimes you can go in here and move it to where you want it. That's cool. Now, you see how it kind of like looks kind of jank? I want it to kind of ease in. So we're going to select these two keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, and I like to do ease out or ease in. Which one did I do? I don't know. Y'all saw. <laughs> I think it was ease in. What's that first one? So now that it is kind of smooth, we can kind of space that out. Maybe like right here. So that's cool with me. So I just wanted to like kind of dim a little bit. Go ahead to the end of this. So I'm going to add frame hold. And that just adds like a little image. Drag this back. So now we can drag this out and have this for as long as we want. The image is gonna, just going to be there, right? So I kind of wanted to fade out like so it can focus on the next thing that I'm doing. So what we can do is play with the opacity. So as it's as it's moving up, I'm going to keyframe this op the opacity over here right about when it stops. I'm going to put it down to like 30. So that's cool. You can you can still kind of see it, but it goes out of focus. But now this one, we have to change this to 30. And you see I changed it a little bit before it ended. So then with this one, all I have to do is go into opacity, change it to 30, and we're good. So it just it's just gonna stay there. So I recorded a little bit of the drums in my doll. And I'm gonna just show that, show a video of that. So I bring that into here and we can scale this down, double click in this. Go ahead, scale it down. All right, so this is going to show everything that I did, and it just shows the drums that I put over there. So that's cool. We'll go back and add text at the end, right? I'm just showing the process. So now, what we want to do is kind of show an animation of the sample plan and how I use the sample. This one's easy, it's because it's only like just one loop. Regardless, I'll show you how to loop it. So, all we need is that one loop. So we can go here, cut the rest of this off. And we can cut the rest of this off. So I'm gonna copy all that option drag you gotta play with it until you get it where you want and a tip if you ever need to delete something and just bring you want to just ripple what they call it is bring when you delete right then you got to drag this and uh, that's cool but to expedite that process, you can hold down option. I think it's control on Windows and press delete. I'm not sure. Mac is weird. The controls be different. So option, delete, it brings everything back, right? 
I think that's cool. All right, so we can go ahead and nest these so we don't have so much to work with. Nest these, right click, nest. All right, so the only problem is now, let's drag this out. So we still have that blurred out version, but now we have two. I don't want that. I want it to be in the same place as this one. So that ending position was 366. So we come to our clip, change that to 366. So now it's gonna be in the same place. I want that to fade out, that screen recording. So we can do a cross dissolve, kind of fade that out. So like I said, this one's pretty simple. Um, I think we can really just bring the beat in now. Now we bring that in the Premiere and place it like so, make it a little bigger. That's good. And let's drag it on out. Cool. So now our videos look something like this. It shows where we sampled. And it shows some extra stuff we added on there. Da 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 da. And then shows how the sample was used. Like I said, this is very simple. I just looped it. Mm -mm. So what I'm gonna do to kind of make it cool, like bring the beat in to match what was just playing to make it seem like it's like a smooth transition. So I'm gonna get that last one. And then we can kind of fade it in. I mean, that's pretty much it. We could, I'm about to go over like titling and like put the finishing touches on it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I personally make my sample breakdown videos. Appreciate it for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Remember to trust God. Jesus is the light. And I'll see y'all.